Hello and welcome to this Heater 560 tutorial. In this video, we look at how to use the DCS control room simulation mode, which allows you to dynamically model different operation cases. Once you have prepared a heater design, you can assess its performance by adjusting different operation parameters. The first step is to run a heater simulation. For the sake of time, we will use the wizard to quickly design a heater for us. On the results page, we need to click the set as design case button at the top right. This will fix these results as the design or rated operation case. Then we go to the site operation tab and click start. We have now entered the DCS control room mode. You will notice that there are three main toggles toward the bottom left of the screen. The toggles will adjust the flow for the combustion air, fuel and the process. You will also notice the main heater diagram showing the various instrumentation points. Upon adjustment of these toggles, you will see that the simulation is carried out and the results shown almost immediately at the respective instrument locations. You will also notice changes in the damper and fuel valve positions in accordance with the flow changes you have made. These positions are calculated based on input data that you can also adjust. The buttons on the bottom right hand side allow you to edit the fuel valve and damper positioning curve data. For example, clicking the fuel valve button will open up data which shows the valve position at various percentage fuel flows. This allows the program to determine the corresponding valve position for a given fuel flow rate. As in a real operation scenario, there are safety limits that must be respected. For example, you will notice that adjusting the fuel flow too high will cause unsafe conditions to arise. These unsafe conditions are shown as alarm and trip points on the main screen area. Reducing the firing rate will remove the trip as shown. This useful feature allows you to gain a real sense of the safety limits of the heater, as well as determining the required operational ranges for instrumentation. The default alarm and trip points are calculated based on the design case of the heater that was fixed before entering the control room mode. However, the alarm and trip point can be adjusted for each data point as you wish. The units can be modified by clicking this button. The basis of simulation can also be adjusted by ticking the outlet temperature control loop and fixing the fuel air ratio control, which is only available for forced draft heaters. This simulation tool is incredibly powerful and allows you to accurately assess the safety implications of different operational cases. The tool has proven useful for HAZOP studies and operator training. Thank you for watching.